While these exercises look similar, and many use the seated dip either as a regression to the dip proper, or as a way of doing dips while working out from home, this is neither a good dip progression nor the best way of training this pattern without a gym. Today we'll walk through the best way to resolve both of these issues, but first I'll tell you why this does not equal this. The moment we put our wrist behind our body line, we introduce a limiting factor, namely our wrist mobility. If our wrists aren't mobile enough, we'll struggle to achieve full lockout in the seated dip, meaning that we lose out on all this range of motion. This is literally gains left on the table. We'd never do dips on parallel bars like this, so why are we doing this with seated dips? But let's pretend we do have the wrist mobility for a second and let's give ourselves the benefit of the doubt that we can achieve full lockout at the elbow. Well then now, a case could be made that seated dips are a great beginner exercise for working out the triceps. The problem is though that dips work the chest in a way that seated dips do not. Let me explain. Two of the many roles of the pec major is to flex the arm, so raise it up, and adduct the arm, so bring it across our body. In this position, our arm is very much extended, not flexed. And actually, if we try to bring the arm across our body in this position, we end up firing up the rhomboids and rear delts instead of the pec major. So how do we solve both of these two problems? Well, we can first of all bring the hands in line with the body. If we're working out from home, this is a matter of just using two stools instead of one. Seriously, try it for yourself. You can literally feel the difference in the chest engagement from bringing the hands in line with the body. Now we can do the same exercise we were doing before, but with far better all-round engagement. And if you're looking to use seated dips as a regression to dips on P-bars, simply use resistance band. This is an easy and measurable way to scale back dips without any of the issues that we mentioned earlier. And if you want to get the most out of your dips, then check this video out right here.